Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. Welcome to the Spinner Rack, issue 13. Today we're going to be talking about the wonderful, wonderful, I don't think you could call it profession. I almost call it a profession. Yeah, we'll just call it the wonderful world of cosplay. I'm Big B, your host, and joining me as always, my co-host. I suppose we Mr. Feed My Ego Jr. <laughs> I'm Carrie the Camera Guy, CC. Our, our resident uh, cosplayer for this yep. episode, considering yep. my fatness does not cosplay. Uh, you, not yet. Not yet. Not you yet. know, I've been, I don't know if you've, I don't know if you've seen the Venture Brothers. Have you ever seen yes. Venture Brothers? Oh, isn't that, it's the greatest show. Best show but ever. I have been thinking about cosplaying as, as 21. See, I don't know the, the new fat stuff. guy. I know the old stuff. He's I the fat know. guy. Is he's their, the their monarch, bodyguard. The monarch's uh, henchman? Yes. You know, there's the tall one and the fat con. one? They're at every con. Right? Really? Yes. Oh, that's great. you got to start going to the con. The sad thing is, is I, I could be the fat one, but I could totally do the voice of the tall, skinny one. You're, you're good. So I guess I could just walk around with a skull. I'm telling you, go with the stormtrooper. There's a fat yeah. stormtrooper at every convention, man. It's, awesome. it's like, where's Waldo? And the Ghostbuster. Yeah. There's always a fat Ghostbuster. Yeah. There's, you know, yeah, that's pretty common. That's the awesome. fucking suit doesn't go all the way up. It stops right here. So he's got a Ghostbuster t-shirt. I wonder if under. I could do like a fucking fat slave Leia. I wonder how that nice. would Nice. Dude, that nice. Rock. Nice. We, we have your costume. Because I'm not afraid to get in drag. We have, we have your costume. I have never right. in my life gotten in drag, but for some reason I saw Armed and Dangerous. That uh, <laughs> Nice, he's laughing. So he knows what I'm talking about. It's uh, John Candy and uh, fuck, I forgot the other guy's name. He was the dad in the American Pie movies. Okay. Eugene Lennon. Yes. Yeah. And uh, there's this part where they're trying to evade the bad guys, and they go into, like, a, an adult bookstore. Yes. And they come out, and Candy's totally in full drag. I've always wanted to do that for some reason. I don't know why. And keep it to your... Once again, it's, it's, I feel, I feel, like, the, I feel like the creepy. can should be out, you know, five seconds. Like, <laughs> never in my we've, we've, I mean, we've gone down a dark path. <clears throat> yeah, we, that's, as we usually do here at the <laughs> Spinner Rack. We're like, oh, God. Right. <laughs> He's going to have pictures of me, like, Brian. wearing my mother's bra and panties and shit. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I'm waiting for the music from uh, Silence of the Land, or, yeah, Silence to start. You know what's awesome? I'm going to have to, like, edit that in now. There you go. Bam, right. bam. So, cosplay. Carrie, please, for those that don't know, define cosplay. Uh, what cosplay is, is uh, people dressing up as their favorite characters, uh, whether it be video games, uh, anime, superheroes. Uh, getting in costume and going to the cons. Um, for people who don't know what this is or are tuning in for the first time and, and hearing about this, uh, it sounds very strange, but what's very um, it really does make the cons when you see people dressed up as these characters and making them come to life. And that's what the habit is. But the um, uh, the inspiration is, I guess you would say. It, yeah. It's making these characters come to life. That's why people get into this in the first place. That's how I got involved. I, I became, you know, a huge Iron Man fan after the movie, and I said, you know what, I want to build these costumes and try it. Um, so that's pretty much where it, where it comes from: is people just wanting to be involved, you know, making these things come to life and be part. And you become part of the show. You're basically, if you do a good job, become a rock star for a day. People stop you and they want pictures. Uh, kids dig it. Um, but once again, there's good and bad for cosplay. Uh, just like anything else. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, <laughs> there's no reason for people not to dress up and have a good time. Mm -hmm. um, my, my general school of thought, though, is uh, you, you dress to what is appropriate. Once again, before the hate mail comes in, you want to pull off things that are to your body type. Correct. Um, spandex is a privilege, not a right. So Slave Leia wouldn't work for you. Once again, if you're, if you're going for the laugh... Totally. It right. wouldn't be serious right. at all. I mean, and, that, and that's it. You know, you, if you're going for the laugh, great. Um, if you're... If you're Dude, you totally got I, I don't even know how to describe this, but, you know, once again, know your body type. Yeah. Um, for those who haven't seen me on camera yet, I'm a you know, thin, skinny guy. I am not going to be Superman. I don't have the build. I'm going to build armor that makes me look bigger than I am. Mm -hmm. It's general the rules. We know uh, Kara, easy power girl. Yeah. Okay? She looks like the character. She has the body mm -hmm. to look the part. Um, so I think good good cosplay. Good cosplay is you're taking a character you're in, you find a way to build that character. Whether it's Superman, whether it's, if you're skilled enough. You know, I maybe could pull off the Superman. I am currently not skilled enough 
to build a costume with the muscle built to do it. However, I'm sure there are people out there that says, okay, if I pad this or do this to give yourself the bulk or the look. So there, there's good cosplay and bad cosplay, um, and depending how you want to look at, at the con. Um, the thing I think you need to keep in mind with cosplay when you start doing this too is, uh, and I, I'm going to sound like, a, like an old, you know, parent, get off my lawn. Uh, you're bringing the character to life, but there are also children there. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have children, but under you know, once again, you're there. So you're you're being a rock star for a day. Kids sees you, right? They're gonna want to hang out with you, yeah, you're right? Like or a picture. Yeah. And and listen, guys, you know, once again, you know, women or you know, spandex is a privilege, not a right. Junior will know this from the last con we did. Okay, for the love oh, of yeah. for the love don't of God. Don't even mention it, but I know what you're talking. Okay. about. Okay, well, I think maybe it should, gentlemen. Yeah, okay. Totally Span I spandex, do spandex shows. Okay, for the love of God, there's a thing called the dancer's belt. For oh, males. are you talking about a dude now? Yeah, yeah. just in general. Okay, Co cover your I stuff it, because you because don't need to see Robin with his nuts hanging out. Well, that's exactly right. <laughs> exactly. You know, there are children present. <clears throat> you're trying to pull, you know, a look off, mm -hmm. and and no, you can't un you can't unsee things. Yeah, you no. know, well, I'm so, glad I didn't see it. I okay. never looked. Right. So uh, sometimes it's hard to miss. Yeah. So just just keep that in mind when you are building these things. Is you know keep it keep it classy, keep it classy, folks. I was at Wizard World ten years ago, and I saw the hairiest, gayest looking Robin I've ever seen, and the bulge was kind of like whoa, like it's one of those things like damn my eyes. Right. I wish I could unsee it. I got but. I got that with Spidey. Yeah. So you know I gotta cut you off though. When you say keep it classy. That leads me into this: women cosplayers. Where is that line drawn? That that I I I what's again? I like hot women and, and of you know, course. So and I'm not a parent, so I don't know. I can't see from that perspective. It, it really is hard for me to to look at that. You know, I know you have children and you have a young one. Bring someone to con. Do, I mean, do you think? Hey, you know, seeing a hot Wonder Woman is your child going to register that as you know mm -hmm. jaw dropping? Or like, that's Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. I, I think maybe it's it's the mindset. But listen, there's a difference between a hot woman. Uh, you know what's it done in a costume without things hanging out? It, you know that's okay. And you know, do you want your child walking up to Batman with his junk right. hanging out? I, I, I think that's where I'm kind of going with that. So I, there's I there's hot Wonder Woman and then there's fucking alley slut Wonder Woman. <laughs> well, I, I mean honestly, Joe, you, you have a, a small child when she is older or old enough to take to a con. I mean, what's your opinion on that? Because I, like I said, I have a tough time looking at it from that perspective because I don't have children. Right. I, I think, like I said, keep it clean in the sense of, listen, you know, no one needs to know your religion, you know, male or female. Oh, you know, I get it. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so what's, I mean, what's your play on that? You know, I really never thought about that. I, I've never done, I've never thought about it. My, my whole thought as far as Harley and convention was, am I going to take her? And if I do, it's totally her decision. You know, right. wait she's old enough. I'm not going to force it. It's bad enough she's named Harley Quinn. Come right. on, she's got to grow up with this. So, you know, it's, it's totally up to her. Well, but but like I said, you brought up the subject, okay, you know, a, like we just said, there's a difference, I right. think, between someone who's trying to pull a costume off and, right. and, make, and make, from a so, woman looking looking hot, okay, and and just totally looking like you know you're trying to you're trying to score. Right. I, I think. See, now that's that's what I actually right. that's why I brought it up. Right. A lot of uh, especially on social media sites on Facebook, you got a lot of female cosplayers on there who they take photos of themselves, they sell prints, you know, they do all these things. Now, how many of them actually do it because they enjoy it versus how many of them do it because they just like the attention they're getting with looking sexy in a costume, regardless if something's hanging out, right. me, if something's hanging out or not, still spending. Yeah. I think, I think. Well, I, once again, I, I, I think. However, you're choosing to do it, it, it's fine. You're still getting the attention or whatever. I mean, you, you, if you're dressing up, you're going for attention. I mean, yeah, of course. Bot bottom line, you're, you're going there to to once again play rock star. Um, I will say next year I am cosplaying. I'm, we could have got I, you. Could have got you this year. No, 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 not for okay. the character I'm doing. Okay. I, I need some scratch for that. Okay. Okay. The Ninja awesome. Turtles version, uh, the cartoon version of the Shredder. Nice. I found the replica helmet. Online. Dude, it's I can build you one. It's about two fifty. Yeah, well, okay. If you want to build me one, <laughs> you save me two hundred and fifty bucks. But by the time I make it, I'm done with it. It may be two fifty, so you might be better. I need money. the the padding. Oh, I got though. I got the whole thing. I got you know, the whole the, build. The fake muscle. Yeah. Oh, the the muscle. Yeah, I, I, I got the I got the armor. I don't. Oh, I need the armor too. Okay. Oh yeah. 
Oh, uh, yeah, 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 walk around Shredder, <laughs> Shredder with a fucking Ninja uh, Turtle tattoo. Nice. Yeah. Uh, that goes back to two cosplaying. Uh, another thing, since you brought up costs, when you start this, people who do this, um, there's a cost involved. These, oh, of course. These, well, people, you know, these costumes. If you're gonna do a good job, become costly. Mm-hmm. So, just anyone listening, if you, it, it's once again, it's a fun hobby. Um, it just it nickels and dimes you. You you learn to build these things, but you go, okay, I'm gonna buy you know, ten bucks worth of foam. Mm-hmm. Well, now I need another ten bucks. Well, now I need paint. Well, that's another. And by the time you're done, you got a two hundred, three hundred dollar costume. The difference is you're doing it piecemeal as opposed to dropping, for example, the guys uh, in one of the things called the Five Hundred First, mm-hmm. which is the the Star Wars one. You know, where they already have prefabricated outfits and they're right. five hundred, seven hundred dollars. You don't feel the hit as much. But in the end, you are kind of yeah, paying totally. that. It's just I, not I great. really respect the hell of that, dude. Guys that go in there and they build their. I have seen some fucking epic, like, Transformers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it's just amazing oh, the things yeah. that these guys can do. My first con was Wizard World played 10 years ago. And I think that's that, that for me is the draw. Now, when cons come around, I don't even really care about, like, artists and getting stuff signed. I almost just want to go there and take pictures of people dressed up. Just to see what's out there. And, but you know what? I, what's great now is it's more accepted. Before, when people, before you know the movies, or you know, people mm-hmm. would go and you people, you wouldn't have it as much, and people kind of give you the the stink eye. Um, and I'm I'm new to this, so I mean, so I I saw the evolution of mm-hmm. it. Now, if you don't have the cosplayers, you feel jacked. If you go to these cons and you and yeah, you, totally, and I, you look, you go. It's, what, uh, what, what's up? Like I said, my first experience, there was a lot of cosplayers, and if I went to another con and it didn't have it, I would be fucking disappointed. And I love it because it's 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 so much more than just comic books and anime. And the, the guys get out there and they do like video game characters. Like I seen this this a guy and his girlfriend did an amazing Cloud and Tifa from Final Fantasy VII. It's one of my favorite games ever. And I had to stop and take like multiple pictures of him. And he's Cloud. I don't know if you've ever played Final Fantasy, but he's got this huge fin sword that's like five or six feet tall, Excellent. probably about like two and a half three feet wide. And yeah. the guy crafted this awesome looking sword, and I made him do like poses with it and shit. But that's that's just great, right? right. And, and once again, I mean, the people are digging it, and, and that's that's part of it. I saw a creepy vampire there. Uh, I took pictures of him, and they didn't show up in my camera. Nice. It was that, very weird. Nice. Kind of, uh, yeah. Very nice. strange. And scratching on your window yeah. the, the, the following night. I was like, what the fuck? And he was weird. He was all like ghoulish looking, and he was like down on all and, fours. And, like, and, and he like again, really got into selling. That's it. what's cool is you know you, you become <clears> these characters, and you you go out and you can be anything at this thing. You, if you can create it in your mind and make it come to life, it's awesome and it's appreciated. I think I think people really do appreciate. I it. was at uh, I think it's the Hilton over there by. Yep. By the Donnelly Stevens, and uh, it was during the Anime Con. Yeah. And wow, dude! Like. It's amazing, like, some of the, like, and I'm not a huge, I, I like anime, but I wouldn't consider myself, like, a, an otaku. Right. But I like it. I'm not, like, no. die hard crazy, watch everything. But it was amazing how many characters I recognize and the amount of fucking links. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> um, it's like, oh, Link, oh, there's another one. Yeah. Hey, there's a red and a blue and a fucking yellow one. What the fuck is going on here? But I love it, man. Cosplay is a great thing. Now, the downside of cosplay, if anyone ever does this, which I learned the hard way, I will give you the heads up now. If you go co- with doing cosplay and you are building your own armor or that type of thing, keep in mind superhero costumes, uh, armor, anything like that, not built with pockets. Okay? When you do any. Or zippers. Yeah, or, okay. When you do a, bu- a lot of these things, Bring a friend. You will need a spotter. You will need someone if it's a if it's a very enclosed, like a predator or an alien, you can't see. You're going right. to need someone to to navigate you around. You're going to need people if they come up for pictures. Make sure you know they don't get hooked on your costume. Uh, make sure you know they don't bump into you. Uh, you're going to need water. You're going to need your friends to get you stuff. You're going to need to take yeah, breaks. Carry 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 your you know, <laughs> yeah, carry right. your wallet with you. You know carry your you someone know. to help disassemble it when you right. to take you a know, pee. Your your pack mule if you you know. Uh, so just just be aware of that when you're designing these things. It, I mean, it is it's when you're there at a convention and you are doing cosplay, unless it's something like a uh, a span. You know, once again, unless it's a, a a suit that is meant to be a, a easy costume to wear, um, you're there to, you're there to cosplay. You're not there to shop because it's real hard getting in and out of those aisles and bumping into people and not getting hooked on stuff. You are there to pose and be rock stars. So totally. if, 
So if you are there in costume thinking you are going to go shopping and stuff, and let, depending on your design, it's really tough. So be aware of it. If you're there, you're there to play Rockstar. So what have you, you said you're just new to this, what have you done? I've done uh, the two Iron Man suits from the movies. I've done the Iron Man 3 suits. Uh, and that was my first intro to this. Uh, I use a program called Pepikira. It's paper crafting, which is what I use. Uh, basically, it's 3D imaging. You, there's a program out there that prints uh, 2D images back to 3D images. And you fold it together like origami, nice. and you make the shapes. It's a free program. It's out on the Internet. It's wonderful. It's time-consuming. Um, one of my... It depends how much time you have. One of these things, when you're said and done, takes me about a year to build. Jeez. Um, so it, 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 ta- it takes a while, but once again, that's my pace. You know, if you've got nothing going on, or you right. move faster, or you don't make any mistakes, and you will make mistakes. Yeah, I'm impatient. Starting I'm out. Yeah, I should do it um, I'd have to go have someone make it. But, but, but that's it. Especially, the you, stuff I want to do is, like, all weird and, like, it, random. You know, it, it goes back to, you know, listen... Do you have? Do you want to drop seven hundred dollars, right. or do you want to do it piecemeal? At, you know, yeah, this totally. way. That's really what it comes down to. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Uh, so I use I use foam. I use paper. Uh, I use I've used in the past bondo and fiberglass, which I won't use again. I don't have a garage, and it's just a mess. So I've done two Iron Man suits. I have done a Space Marine from Warhammer. Right on. Uh, modded out a Nerf gun. Looked badass. Yeah, I did. I actually seen that. I've, that uh, real fucking, I've fucking done cool. I've done my version of a Batman costume, which unfortunately I haven't had a chance to wear yet, uh, because as I said, sometimes you need a spotter. This was one. Uh, it was an Arkham, the Arkham armor oh, yeah. built, nice. and unfortunately needed no, a sp- no neck no, mobility. No, huh? No neck mobility in that. Very little, and uh, it's just hard to move in, but it looks really cool. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, my friend, no one was able to go out with me on Halloween, so I wasn't able to uh, so he to, to, to to wear that costume. Uh, I've done a Paul Stanley costume, so nice. I, I got to experiment. Once again, I went from you know more elaborate things to right. a basic build, but I learned how to work with fabrics and paints and play with it that way. Uh, if you do a horror one, you learn how to use prosthetics. It's all a learning curve. Right on. It's very interesting stuff. I like Junior, though, probably don't have the patience for all that. No. I and then everything I want to do is, like, strange. Like, I want to do, like, drunk, unemployed Thor. Yeah. Drunk, unemployed, fat Thor. I'm sorry. I forgot to put the fat in there. Once again, that's a, that's a, that's a costume and a beer. Totally. <laughs> and, and, it's hard, a, and it's appropriate. Not a, not, a hard, not a hard one to do. Yeah, no, not, not really. Well, before we get done, I'll plan it out for you. Tell you, <laughs> nice. tell you what you need, and uh, nice. we'll be good to go. I would love to do that, man. Like I said, the the wanting to do the monarchs uh, henchmen thing. They're, uh, what's you got? They're at the cons. I have an effing field day with that all day, they're, just running around and fucking with people. They're at the cons. Because I'm like I'm one of those strange people that when I get into like a character, I can easily get lost in that character. So my friends tend not to ask me to do voices because I might have to listen to it for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. And like, I love to create elaborate, fucked up stories. I'm just weird, dude. Seems like my shoulder down there is no longer right. So wow, I, I may, I may be having to, having to build them one. This thing was fucking badass. Had the, the, the elastic strap in the back it was chrome all the way around. See now, if anyone, it's a shame no one could see what's going on here because th- this is what I was talking about. Okay, Junior is actually he, as he's describing the helmet, you could see him getting pumped. Right, you could see him get it, uh, and that's fucking helmet. no. But, but that's what this is about for people who, you know, why why would you do that? Why would you? Because you get to you get to make this thing come to life. Yeah, totally. And and like I said, <laughs> since you can't see it here, that that's an example of it. I mean, Junior's never cosplayed before, but never. as he's talking about it, he's like, it's something I've yeah. always thought about doing. Right. I'll be honest. And he's hardcore for the Ninja Turtles, yeah. man. I'll do it. I, I mean, thought it's, uh, it's to me, it's simple enough to pull off that suit. It's just I've got to go find. Spikes, right? You know, I've got to find the. Well, you could just make them almost like just paper mache. Nah, I don't want paper. Mache. Oh, you want real shit? I want some real shit. See, like, that, you want, be careful. We're I don't about, want to cut. Now we're talking yeah. about a whole nother. Uh, yeah. You know, when you everything I've designed is to you know not injure myself and others. Um, generally, that's what I you know I've seen. But once again, when you start doing that, just don't bump into anyone. To like accidentally take off a little kid's ear. Well, yeah. listen to this day, I can't. Arr, I can't. I can't. Like I, can't I, I can't. I still can't understand why you know they sell swords to nerds at these conventions. I, I just no, I I, like I, real swords. Oh yeah, like, oh, you need to go with us, yeah. man. 
Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I'm totally going to Wizard World. I was supposed to go to uh, C2E2, but I was not. Yeah, this is, this is it, you know, I did before. <laughs> I, I, I still to this day can't figure out. You know what's a great what idea? Let's weapons? let's sell let's sell you know weapons yeah. to nerds. So we're, 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 what could possibly I want go wrong? LARP just I might because just I think it's up, ridiculous. I think I'm gonna hit up one of those uh, those punk rock places. I was showing him. Mm-hmm. Maybe they have the leather, the red, the wraps with, with the, the studs. Yeah. yeah, the studs hanging out. Not the exact same. He's gonna hit up. He's gonna hit up Brooklyn How, totally. yeah. <laughs> How would I? Uh, Clark and Belmont. Yes. It's black leather. Yes. With the, the studs on it. Yes. I don't want it black. I want it a chrome looking. Then you start buying spray paint. Oh, it wouldn't affect the. If so I spray the fight, the. And, it, and if the it's spikes, it, oh, yeah. the st- you yeah. can just tape them. Yeah, That'll take some time. Yeah. But I mean, like I said, you dedication. When you man. start doing this, that you come up with solutions. Yeah. You know, how do I? How do I do this? Ace Hardware. You will go into Ace Hardware and look at that in a whole different light. You. Walk it down and be like, I can use that for that. You're you're okay. laughing, but you. you oh no no! You know I totally get it. I've got uh. Uh, a, f- a friend of the family, she does special effects makeup for horror mm-hmm. movies, and uh, she like does like photo shoots of like weird shit. And she came up with this weird like thing, and it was her like in this demon costume, and she had to build wings. Mm-hmm. And she asked my old man, and my old man has never done anything like this before, but he came up with this whole rig, and it's all uh, PCV tubing mm-hmm. cut in small lengths with rope in it. And then a little rope to pull, and it fucking flaps. Nice yeah, cool as up, shit, dude. Ever. You come up with some great stuff. And the old man's like 50. He's not into this shit at all. And what's what's even cooler is asking people for stuff and trying to explain <clears> it. That was the best. Going into Home Depot going, yeah, this is what I need to do. And the people that got it were awesome. The people that did it, it was just fun to watch their face. So what are you doing? Yeah, I'm building an Iron Man suit. And you would either get... Dude, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Have you tried this? And then you get people going, "Yeah, you need to leave." Yeah. <laughs> I can't help. People yeah, that are I, just uncomfortable yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. Like, lunch break now. Yeah, you you really need to go. They're like, what but the was, hell is wrong with you? It was it was cool. Cool cosplay, yeah. That cosplay is awesome, man. I, I I wonder where it originated at. I mean, it, obviously, I think it's got to be Japan. Cosplay had to have come from. Because I know that uh, maybe even further back, like what's they're the, like uh, hardcore over there for that stuff. The fucking, uh, Listen, the kind of Renaissance Fair, medieval times. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah. true. It's, 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 it's Halloween. It, yeah, it, no, it, totally. It's Halloween out of season. It's all it is. If you dressed up as a kid and you never grew out of it, and you just decided to take it to another forum, that became acceptable. You know? I'm going to probably sound stupid here, but I think I was like 16 or 17, and there's a spot right. in in Japan. <laughs> I th- want to say it's. I want to say it was like Shinjuku or something. There's a specific district in Japan but that's like all it fucking is. People walking around in cosplay and like arcades and like clubs and oh, shit and it's need, like we all need, they're about. We need, we need to take take it on the road, Junior. We need to, <laughs> totally. How about you mix Japan, bro? Japan, they'll be the shit. They'll love me there. I'll put on a big koala bear costume. Dude, you're, <laughs> Wait, why the fuck did I say koala bear? I meant panda. I, I, st- I, I, have, I have to use the line now. You're huge in Japan. Totally. There you go. There you go. We're all totally. huge in Japan, man. It would be great. Thank you, equal six Japanese. They would love me, dude. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Japanese and like big fat Americans. Mm-hmm. They're just like, I guess it's because they've never seen it before. Yeah. Because how many fat Jap outside of like sumo wrestlers? Yeah. Yeah, but have you seen the shit they eat? That's probably why. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Limited to how many people they can have in their family. Are they really? They're yeah. like the Chinese. Yeah, they're. I, I believe so. No, wait, never mind. I am thinking Chinese. Never mind. I was gonna say, how the fuck do they even stop that? You gotta like just go in and get snipped by the doc. Um, it's called a bullet in uh, China. 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 Yeah, they just knock on your door and yeah. boom, it's like, done. How many kids do you have? <laughs> Thanks for playing. Yeah. It's like, are you know can have a two girls? I took one. She <laughs> made Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she made we a went there. Imitation yeah. Ninja Turtle. We, we say she it's draw a cartoon. <laughs> we say it's nigga, but it's not. <laughs> Fucking knockoff shit. Dude. Where did you... The, 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 I asked you about the Transformer knockoff that you put up. You said it was a knockoff, but you never said why. Which one? Uh, the Cliff Jumper? Yeah. Okay. Like, what on that? How the hell do you... I know, totally off subject in here, which we do that we'll all the time. We'll talk about it. I, what, <laughs> it's, I'm kind of curious about that. We'll talk about it later. That's another show. That's another show. Oh, that's not another show. That's me not giving up my sources. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nope. I gotta keep some secrets to oh, myself. Oh, you should have heard him. We're doing this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode, and he's about to like, oh, I got this great idea for it. Never mind, I'll talk about it when we're done. So it's like, all oh, the audience is a hoop ball. <laughs> Whatever the audience is. They get this whole build up, and then that. he's like, 
no, no, never mind. The, the audience that consists of you know, two guys, one guy going, no, I don't even no, know what you fuck. Mean? I was off the way to Don, man. Oh man! Oh, I don't, oh, oh. don't want to come out and, and yell it out oh, and be like, oh fuck, you just ruined it for me. Did so, I, did he I has, he has a con game? idea, which I think would be pretty sweet. Okay. Which I mean, fuck. I guess nowadays anything would fucking serve as a con. Fuck yeah. Lebowski's got a con. Big Lebowski. Oh, that's awesome. Lebowski fest. Oh. People just go and dress up like characters and drink white Russians. And you know that's actually sounding cool. That's awesome. I, I want to go. I got a buddy this over here. Totally. I could totally Lebowski, do. Brother. I could do Walter, man, big time. I got the girth to be a John Goodman. You know what? <laughs> call me gay. I want to see the fucking slave Leia cosplay. You know? Really? That'd be hilarious. I think it'd be wrong on so many levels. <laughs> Once again, as long as we cover up enough, not to you know to, to give people nightmares. Hilarious. It probably would be funny. Probably be a little embarrassing. That'd probably be one of those things that if you actually find a slave Leia costume that would fit me, see what you I would to... back the fuck out. So, that's yeah. the cosplay. That is like no. That's, that's where that comes in because no. you actually make it mixed up. Yeah, Just go see. buy a big ass bra and then fucking add the metal. And put some metal I, you know, on I, it. I bet you. I bet you. If you ask your fiance, say, "Hey, these, these guys came up. We came up with this idea. She Dude. would make it for you." She'd be you go she'd to sleep be, in the morning. Like, you're gonna have it sitting out. Yep, for she's you. gonna be like, "Gotcha." Because hey, she, she wants to have too. Contact her. Like, hey, listen, check this out. <laughs> did you see the nervous look <laughs> now? Did you see? Did you see? <laughs> did you? If anyone was, if anyone was here, he thought he was gonna get away with not doing this. Okay, if, if you could see his face, we said, you know, if you told your wife your idea, she would do it just so she, you could never live it down. <laughs> his face, his face, his face turned white. It finally sunk in that with the phone call, he could be going to Wizard World here now as Princess Leia. It, it, it's finally sunk in. As long as I got that ass cape, I guess. <laughs> You fucking need a curtain. I was right? saying that's a, an ass drape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ass drape. Yeah, that's the good's correct. Dude, that'd be great, man. That'd just be fucking and then, hilarious. And then have him join the 501st. Hey, guys, we got you. Uh, <laughs> anybody want to take some pictures? <laughs> You're doomed now, man. That's yeah, awesome. now you've done it. Or, to be easier, just paint your whole fucking body green. Just go in fucking underwear, dude. But your whole body's green. Just be like, I'm Slimer. Nice. I'm Slimer. I can get one of those, like, poly foam. Maybe yeah. like the tail. Yeah. See, and this is what if it's If anybody about. else out there steals this idea, know where you got it. Just give me, excuse me, give me the credit. And this is this is where it's, this, this is how it all starts. <laughs> yep. Just ideas, man. You, the, once again, this is the key to cosplay. You go, what if? Hey, I can do this. How? And this is how it rolls, man. What would look terrible on me? <laughs> <laughs> we try not to go that route, but if you go for it. Dude, we should all get together and be the Peanuts gang. That'd be pretty cool. Who the fuck would I be? Woodstock? <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> like, reverse? Woodstock and Because I'm the biggest, so I'll be the smallest guy. <laughs> That'd be great. That's fine. I think Linus has to be John. Oh, yeah. John would have to, we'd give him that little blue blanket and make him suck on his thumb. Be great. Oh, he does it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I really sometimes wonder if he ever listens to these and thinks, man, these guys are fucking dicks. Because oh, occasionally, he, he, I oh, come on, he got, he got that day him. before he left. Yeah. Yeah, I know, and then I got it. I was like, what the fuck happened here? Fucking John leaves and I become the whipping bitch? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking Santos has never talked to me like that before today. I was fucking like taking it back. Like the fuck? Calling me fat. <laughs> Making them weird jokes about how he likes the feel of his nipples in your shirt. Like what the fuck was that all about? <laughs> yes, folks, we've gone down a totally different path. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, dude. We hear con- or this will whatever. Uh, the spinner rizek. That shit happens. The spinner rack. Under the umbrella of Comic Remix is what I meant to say. We at Comics Remix, one big family here. Love to have fun. We one, share clothes. One, one, big, one big dysfunctional family. One big temporary sausage fest. <laughs> <laughs> For issue 13 of the Spinner Rack, our cosplay special. With our cosplay guru, thank you. That was great, man. I was like, I have nothing to contribute here. Except for but fat, drunk, and unemployed yeah, porn. But, 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 and now, you had nothing to contribute, and what's going to happen? You will be you got Fat Princess Leia. Totally, it's going to be awesome. Slimer. Drunk Thor. I'm not even going to shave or anything, dude. I'm going to big fucking hairy... So if you see us awesome. in Wizard World, you'll totally. Totally. Yeah. Can I interview people like that? Dude, I fucking... I'd love it. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. I'll man the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like, excuse me. Slave Leo wants a fucking word with you here. <laughs> and, and, and better yet, 
don't even say anything yet. Pull him off Probably to the side. Go We've got a slave Leo it. that wants to interview you. Totally. Because you know some dude will Slave Leo. Slave Leo. Yeah. Hey, man, I, biggest titties you've ever seen. <laughs> and as soon as it, where's she at? He's right, right there. there. What's up? Awesome. <laughs> How you no! doing? How you doing? So for issue 13 of the Spinner Rack, I am Big B Brian Adams. As always, my co-host, Junior. Hi. And our special... Hi. 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 Bye. Sorry. It's for everything dude. comic related, find us at comicsremix.com. Big it's thanks to our special guest, CC. Why did you salute the microphone? I just... It's a habit. No, yeah, I feel like see you do that. But now they know. Yeah. I'm going to pull a gold dust in this <laughs> like <laughs> You know, wow, good thing you couldn't see that. that was, that's awesome, because, you know, that's going to be... People are going to be like, wonder what the fuck he did. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's So email us at the spinner at, at YML.com and ask what it did. I'll fucking tell you. Should I send you a video of it? <laughs> and, just, and, and the sad thing is, my sorry ass will have to film it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get your ass in there. Get close. So, I got closer, you closer. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure the lighting's good. Like, dude, you're on my camera. That's all right. I want authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the sweat dripping. So please contribute to new cameras yeah. and new supplies. Yeah. As so, always, for everything Comics Remixed, go to comicsremix.com, the hub, as we are presented by the glorious Comics Remix. Spinnerackymail.com. Any questions? Hate mail. Tell me not to put on a Princess Leia bikini. Save me. Yeah. Bleak Fishy 14 and Spinnerack. Have a good night, people. Good night.